king in all your glory. Um, and Sarah, I'm looking, I'm going like this. I feel like I have to keep like in, like kind of keep in the groove with you on this. So uh, no, all good, all good. Hey, listen, I'm, in all seriousness, I really do appreciate you guys being willing to jump on this call and Craig's leadership and bringing this group together. And I said to him, so you know, who's on this call? I mean, tell me what should I say to them? You know, it's always like, what message needs to be delivered or, or, or what, you know, what, what should that be? And know your audience type of video. And he said, look, he said, these, these are the groups. These are the, this is the rock stars. These are the people that are, you know, that are, you know, that are engaged, that are moving the needle, that are, are, um, you know, making it happen. And I said, then I don't need to be talking to these guys, you know? Um, so that's it. I don't need to talk to you guys. It sounds like you guys have got everything, everything dialed in. Um, but if I were to say anything, okay, if I were to say anything, um, it, it'd be a couple, maybe just a couple things. Maybe some of you saw a little post I put yesterday. I was, um, I typically use Sundays as a day, you know, we're kind of church going guys and, and, but I use that as a day to try and reconnect with the things that are most important. Um, it, it, you know, people and life and, and, and how I need to do a better job and kind of, you know, am I on track with my vision of, of who I want to become and where I want to take my family and where I want to help lead this business and, 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 and just, you know, that kind of stuff, uh, cause it's real easy for me to get off track. Uh, cause I, I tend to be kind of a, put my head down oftentimes and just, you know, and go sometimes. And, and if I don't take time to lift up my head and kind of reconnect, um, I lose contact uh, on things and, and kind of lose, you know, where, who I am, what do I want to do, what's most I, I shared this quote yesterday. Um, a few years ago, The Elite, we gave this little series of books that someone gave, it was actually Lee Ratterman gave me, it's this book called one and there's a little series of of books and it goes one year five years and seven years and they're just these nice little thought provoking books but there was a quote there um and i thought it was so apropos and i shared this yesterday on the wall and i in a little video but it, it and this actually came from barack obama uh and and so take out the politics of that okay because that's this is not a, this is not about politics whatsoever but it's about the principle that underlies this and it's he said of when he was being, I guess his inauguration or somewhere, he said, I'm asking you to believe not just in my ability to bring about change, um, I'm asking you to believe in yours. And um, that really did hit me. And it hit me because um, I'm, a, I'm a huge believer in people's ability. And I'm a huge believer in, 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 in individuals' ability to lead. And, and the power of, of one and the power of using your circle of influence um, to create great things, not only in your life, your family's life, but in the people's lives around you. And so, you know, as I looked at this, as, as Craig talked to me about this call, I thought, you know, first and foremost, first and foremost, um, you guys have got your heads in the game. I, I, you're, you're in this courageous time of the year where business is a little bit softer and people are looking for answers with tremendous passion and with tremendous, you know, going, okay, how do we, how do we, how do we move the needle? And sometimes they're looking outward and upward. And, and I think that's very fair to look to us and say, okay, what well, help us, you know, help us with the answers, help us get this thing figured out. And, and that is our responsibility. At the same time, at the same time, what my experience has been in this business and in this industry is that typically the answers come from out there. It comes from you guys. And it will come from people that are in the trenches, that are working and that are passionate and that are creative. And uh, the answers typically come from the leaders out there. And, and that is you. So, I would start this call real quickly by just saying, believe in your ability to make a difference. And it just strikes me again, as I look at you, and I'm looking at each one of you, you're not huddled together in a group of 12 of you or however many on this call. Each one of you are by yourself somewhere. 
okay? Each one of you are at home, and you might be at home with children, or you're carpooling, uh, you know, kids to, you know, you know, somewhere to do things, and life, and, and, and life goes on. Um, and so this tends to be a very courageous business. It tends to be a courageous business because of, um, you do, you've got, to pull your, you've got to pull yourself up by your bootstraps, you know, and you've got to bring your own thinking, uh, you know, to this. But, but my recommendation to you is as you look and you think and you feel, you guys have all been blessed enough with enough brights and with enough experience and with enough um, ex the experience that if you're feeling it, do it, okay? Do it. Act on it. Test it. Put it, put it into action. Um, uh, don't be bashful. Um, and, and, and as you know, Craig said, this is this phenomenal group. And, and so my, my encouragement to you is, and this is preaching to Jeff as well, this is really a, a sermon to Jeff, if you'll, a message to me, is, is also this piece that it says, times when it's softer, what it requires is bolder, stronger, more courageous leadership, okay? Because people want to be led. People are looking for hope. They are looking for actions. And, and honestly, if it's not perfectly clear to you what it is right now, Pick a direction anyway, okay? Make a decision and then make that decision right, you know, with, with your business. I thought that uh, the power of Raina, I don't know how many of you listened to Raina's call. We had a little bit of a technical issue today. I kept saying, Raina, Raina. I think she had her phone up to her mouth like this and couldn't hear. Her. But um, her message really was, was this concept of, of recommitting to the business, of pressing play, of getting back in, completing a program, and the confidence that comes from that and the authenticity that comes from that. And I think, uh, it, you know, the, it's such a simple answer, but it's, but it's such a powerful answer. So um, I'm going to just give you a couple little pieces that I think are key to right now in this business. And I'll tell you what I'm trying to do right now in this business as I approach where we are over this next, over this fourth quarter. And, and as soon as I'm off, I get to jump into the, like one of the most exciting meetings ever. It's a budget meeting for all of next year where we sit down and we go pour through spreadsheets and numbers and go, well, what's our business going to do next year? It's like, shoot me. Um, but you know, yeah, you just get these guys, each of the people on this call, just an extra little bonus and they'll all, I'll forgive you for cutting it short. It's all good. Yeah, no, no, no. But it's, but it's, but it's this, and I'm, taking, and, I'm, and I'm taking this from this book that I've, I've been reading, and I keep pulling it open because I get just great insights. It's from that, that, that one thing. But right now, what we need to do as a company and as leaders in the company is we have to go small. We have to go small and then go big with what we went small with, okay? You picking up what I'm putting down? In other words, what that means right now is that we need to focus on those small number of things that matter the very most that will create the greatest results, okay? And, and focus intently and purely on those very, very few small things. Again, it is, if ever there was a time for focus and for concentration and for channeling, it's right now in this, in this fourth quarter on those pieces that give the greatest, that will create the greatest results. I think that comes from, if you were to write down right now, your to-do list for the day, and you were to write down your success list for your business, you would quickly have a comparison of a checkoff list of things that you've got to get done. And no question, you've got to get stuff. You've got to run the kids here. You've got to run them there. You've got to do the laundry. You know, there's stuff that you've got to get done. So I'm not putting that thing away. But if you start creating a checklist in your business, Okay. And having that be the driver as opposed to your success list of those very, very few pieces that will create the greatest results in your business, you're going to end up being very, very busy, but not productive. And what we need right now, all of us need to be is productive. And there are those one things in the business. And I'd suggest that Raina kind of hit it on the road today. You're going to have to look at your own business and come to your own conclusion, but it probably is on those very fundamentals of the business um, that drive the greatest great, greatest results. And I think it really is around you know sharing, inviting, you know, pr pressing play, drinking Shakeology on those 
on those core core pieces. Right now, as we look at our business and we look at, um, and we know we've had challenge packs on sale and the same number of challenge packs that we, you know, we thought would be great for everybody. So they had this wide selection. I don't know if that's worked well or not, but I, but, uh, but here's what I know is that people look at volume, volumes down, challenge pack sales are down. It's not because the programs don't work. Okay. Um, it, it, it's, we know that the programs work. I think it's because people at this point in time have started to dabble a little bit and have started to lose their focus as opposed to enhancing and getting a laser-like focus in their business. So my first challenge to you would be, and it's a challenge to me, is go small on the things that you're going to focus on. Communicate that passionately, intensely, unapologetically to your teams and those around you so that they know what you're going after and what you stand for. Going big with what you've gone small with means that you're putting a goal out there, okay, that's also a goal that's very clear and that's going to push you. Because the minute that you start for, to go for something big, that can be inspiring, it will push you, it will test you, it will also communicate to people around you that you are focused and driven and committed to, to those pieces. And they're going to watch you and they're going to test you and they are going to, um, they're going to be the voyeur. Okay. And say, man, is, is this really working for Nikki? Is this really working for Sarah or for Lindsay or for whoever they're going to, they're going to watch that. But this is a time to go bold on, on those pieces. The next piece to do then, because you will be tested is that you need to, put no into your vocabulary, okay? You need to put no into your vocabulary. And what that means is that you will keep the main thing the main thing. You won't sacrifice the things that, that, that matter most to those things that matter least in your business. And as you align with this, this BHAG, the big hairy audacious goal, the thing that you're going big on, that you, that you demonstrate, you demonstrate your honesty and your authenticity to what you stand for. Here's the thing about leadership, okay, that, that people will look for. We talk about traits of leadership, and oftentimes we, we think that, well, you know what, I, I'm going to demonstrate my competence by just doing, by just kind of being quiet and doing things. I'm going to demonstrate my honesty by not being dishonest. Leaders proactively demonstrate who they are by what they do and by what they say. They don't let people just draw conclusions on that. This is a time to proactively um, be evident in those areas of leadership. And one of those is by, I believe, saying no to the things that don't matter so that your team knows that you're focused, you're committed, and you're determined, and that you're going to put first things first. The great part about it is, they will draft off of that. They will look at that and they can, and I know that, that Craig will give his lesson if he hasn't already on the power of drafting, on cycling and drafting and what happens uh, you know, from that because uh, there's a great lesson there. But that's, that's the other piece is, is anyway, saying, saying no. Um, and then I already touched on this idea of the no checkoffs. Don't get caught up into the, um, don't get caught up into the checkoff piece, but stay focused on that success on that success list. Now, I I shared this on the National Wake Up Call. I've shared it on some other calls. It comes from this book, this the 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 one thing. But I'd also challenge you. I had a group in last week that I I challenged them. Whatever they go after, whatever program they're in, you, um, is that they commit to do this for sixty six days, which I think would make this December fifteenth. And the reason why 66 days is because on average, 21 days of doing something really they've proven scientifically doesn't create a habit. 66 days is the sweet spot for creating a habit. And it came, and what I'm citing to is this little book here and it talks about the University of London and they put this test group together around, interestingly, diet and exercise. And they found that in order to create the discipline um, to create the habits, not the habit, but the discipline to create the habits, the point of what they referred to was automaticity, 
which means where it became automatic behavior, where it really lowered the effort level, where it became automatic in your behavior to do something, that point was 66 days. And so the challenge I would give to you is, as you look at the next 66 days, I would go small, I'd go big with what you go small with, and stay tied to your success list, and, and be committed to that, and communicate that boldly with, with your team. Um, here's, I, I, I've got to run, but here's, here's, here's the deal. It's, it's interesting. I, I have the luxury, I guess, or the, the privilege and the, the benefit of, of, of having weekly calls with Carl, and it's, it's always interesting. Um, so as, as all the conversations go, some are great, some aren't so great. It's always interesting when I go into one of these calls when, when I think that, oh, okay, what are we going to talk about today? What do I, you know, you're always trying to, you know, put something forward and position something. Inevitably, the days when um, I feel like I'm a little, little anemic on something, it ends up evolving into a call that becomes about where we're going as a company, how we're doing it, who we're, you know, who we want to become, how we want to accomplish these things, and and where, and where we need to to um, course correct on, and and to get better on, and the fun thing is is as we look at right now, we're navigating the present, but I want you guys to know is we're navigating the present, um, which you have to do. Our eyes are also focused at what we're launching at Summit in 2017, what's coming beyond there, what the path will look like, who the market is for that, how that will impact the coaching opportunity and enrich it and, and strengthen it and, and provide ongoing um, opportunity. And I just have to tell you guys that um, I love where we're at. You never like the struggles of where you're at because they're because they're tough. But what I love about it, honestly, what I love about it is that is that we will come out of this with stronger, better, uh, more insightful, more experienced, uh, having having become um, better leaders. And the runway is, as far as I can see in my conversations with Carl, is is there is just tremendous future for where we're going. And, and what we're and what we're doing, and those that those that that the lead, those that partner, those that develop the skill sets, those that change with where they need to change to continually get better. Because when you're through changing, you're through. Okay, you just you, that's that's you just you, that's just a fundamental that we have to keep getting. You know, all the time is refining, and and I go, I know that I'm preaching to the choir a bit on this, um, but but at the same time. Um, it really is accurate, and uh, I'm absolutely confident where we're going, what we're doing. Um, I know I'm supposed to drink the Kool-Aid because I'm, you know, part of corporate, but I, but, um, I like the Kool-Aid. I believe in the Kool-Aid. Uh, I help stir the Kool-Aid, um, and I shouldn't use the Kool-Aid analogy, but uh, I guess. But from the standpoint of where we're going and what we're doing as a company, um, I just feel like we're in, in, in great hands and, and I'm grateful to you guys for, for being coaches. Um, again, when I jump on these kind of calls, see you guys realize what a courageous business it is and, and the leadership that you're bringing and the effort that you're putting in and the struggles that you're struggling with. And, and at the end of the day, I know you're just trying to get better. You're just trying to get better and you're just trying to t lead your teams, you know, a little, a little bit more. And um, my guess, if you were to helicopter up to 30,000 feet and look down on what you're doing, um, I would see a very clear picture of the influence of who you are and how you're expanding your circle of influence and how you're touching people's lives. And you probably don't have as great a sense for that as is really happening um, because it is happening. And people are looking to you for leadership, and I'm just grateful for you guys for bringing it. And um, and um, Craig, that's all I got. I got to go to a budget meeting, but um, wonderful. Well, Jeff, thank you for that. You actually 
I extended the time that I had asked you to commit to this call and I'm sorry. I, well, I know you do it out of, you know, again, your, your love and commitment to these coaches and to our business and, and to who we are as a company. And so, you know, when we get going on this stuff, it's hard, it's hard not to, to share. And so thank you, Jeff, for, you know, for sharing what's on your heart and for the things you're seeing and in, in, in the network and the things that, that will help us as a group, we consider ourselves a group that are on the front lines that are doing our best to move this business forward on behalf of our entire, you know, uh, Monday Mastermind Group here, Jeff. Thank you for sharing those thoughts. All right, thank you guys. Have a great weekend, and for those at leadership, look forward to not a weekend, but week, and look forward to seeing you guys at leadership. Thanks, thanks guys. Jeff. We'll see you. Hey, you guys. Um, thanks for for first of all for being on this morning and for being you know on time, and I'm, I'm glad that we had a you know a great turnout this morning for Jeff. At, you know, as you can see. Um, that you know he is is deeply and heavily involved in every aspect of our company and uh, in in making this thing work the way that it should and and we all believe in in that what we're doing is right what we're doing is noble it's awesome to be able to put your fingerprints on something like this and you know at every waking hour in fact probably for Jeff it's probably um, you know, too much that sometimes that he's consumed with this business and where each of us are at and how to how to make it better trying trying to find him a little balance in life. He's posting to the wall on Sundays and evenings and uh, he's really, you know, trying to lead out. And, and I hope that that comes through that, you know, that we are in this and in it together. And, and just thank you guys uh, for being in it with us. So um, I wanted to try to keep this short. I'm recording this so that I can send it to the rest of the group for those that, that uh, couldn't be on. If you want to share this message uh, with your team on a, you know, on a team call or, you know, edit it down or some way so that you can share it with your teams. I'd be happy to let you do that. And so, you know, I do have a desire maybe to keep this prompt so that it's not a, you know, a long, you know, replay video, but I just love to hear would, would maybe just, you know, one or two or three of you just share your thoughts about what, what did you hear Jeff say and, and how it maybe has impacted, um, you know, your mindset of, of, of what you want to do right now with your business. Would anyone mind sharing just, just a couple thoughts? Um, the biggest thing that I think I took away from it was, and I've tried kind of been transitioning into this, so it was, it was kind of perfect timing. And um, he just talked about the one thing. And then also um, Alyssa in the wall um, talked about the 12 week year, that book. And so I've been reading that and it's incredible. I really love it. Um, and just kind of, focusing on like this do good and and focus on the small things and go big with the with those small things I love that so much because I was so focused on delegating stuff and so focused on getting things off of my plate that I wasn't spending as much time doing the things that I love and the things that um, are creating really genuine relationships I feel and so I've gone back to that and gone back to I was trying to make my new coaches do this checklist and then they can't talk to me on the on a zoom call until they've completed everything and i was having such a big disconnect with my coaches so i was just went back and i said what was i doing that was working and it was talking to my coaches as soon as they signed up and being very you know messaging them one-on-one -on -one and send me screenshots let me help you with you know responses and um, and in just this month alone i've had four coaches sell a challenge pack the first week before they even got their, you know, stuff. And I know it was because I went back to making them feel like, you know, I'm your friend, you can come to me with anything, instead of being like, no, you can't talk to me until you do your checklist. <laughs> um, so that was something that was huge for me. And that has just been such like a relief, because I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. Um, and so I went back to just really focusing on making good quality relationships with my coaches and making them feel like, I'm not like the super busy person that you can't ever message because that's, I think the persona I was putting out before. So that was kind of something that I really was thinking that I want to share with my team is, you know, this is what I was doing. This is what, you know, I was trying to have you guys do as well, but I really want them to focus on, you know, just making those original instant um, communications with calendars and coaches. Wonderful. Thank you, April. I, you know, I think the key in that, and whatever that one thing is, you know, for you, that, that was the one thing for you, April, that missing piece or that mm -hmm. focus. And, and once you committed to what was in your, you know, what was in your gut 
on that, right? This is, this is what I feel. This is their direction. And you took it. Then you can release yourself a lot of times from all the other little things that, you know, that maybe we're stacking up on you. If you, you know, identify that thing, that focus and just be true to yourself in that area, you can release yourself, uh, you know, from, from a lot of the other, uh, you know, minutia at times of, you know, of the business and, and get your best results. Any other uh, thoughts or impressions that, that, that someone would, would, sh would feel to share based on kind of what Jeff said and what impact that's going to have on you? I'll just share kind of like with April, um, being a new mom, and I know there's a lot of other new moms on um, the call. It, it kind of it was just nice to hear Jeff kind of give me permission to go back to those basics and um, you know focus on those small things that I can get done every single day um, in my business, and you know tr transferring that over to my team because you know I have a lot of busy moms and um, new moms on my team too, and so I think it was just that permission I needed to okay, I'm doing the right thing. I'm, I'm, it's okay that I'm focusing on the small things because those are what's going to move me to that big thing. So I just love that analogy and the fact that he, you know, kind of gave us the thumbs up to keep doing that. So <laughs> thank you, Sarah. Any other thoughts, you guys? Awesome. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and wrap then. Um, again, just thank you for being on. And uh, I love again, what he said about, you know, now, now is the time um, when, you know, in, in terms of, of when people are looking, this is the time of the year again, where people are looking for leadership. They're looking for that, um, that person that can be bold, that can be strong, that can be courageous, that can not only show them what to do in actions, but also being in front, you know, being in front of your team vocally that we've talked before about when we had our, our you know, our, our uh, topic on, on creating or building belief, um, that that perpetual dialogue, that perpetual dialogue that lets people know that they can do it, that they're good enough to do it, that they deserve to do it, that they're in the right place at the right time doing the right thing. And, uh, you know, I know, you as the leader, sometimes maybe you feel like, oh, well, people are tired of listening to me or, you know, what do I have to offer? I'm on my team page all the time or, I'm, you know, and, and because you're living with yourself, you probably don't give yourself enough credit. But I'm here to tell you that the coaches um, on your team are, are looking to you. They rely on you. Um, your belief fuels their belief. And so, you know, now, now is the time to, you know, to show forth that, that courageous leadership, both in action and in word and, and getting out and, and helping to, to guide your team to, you know, to success at this time. So again, you guys, thank you again for being on. Um, we'll go ahead and close uh, today and uh, look forward to um, seeing you guys again next week. And uh, I think next week we will, uh, head in where it'll be leadership week as well. So not only maybe we'll see on the call, but see in person as well. So those that are able to attend leadership, it'll be fun seeing you guys. So thanks for being on and have a wonderful, wonderful day and a wonderful week. Okay. Take care.